I'm in Highgate at the moment and Charles Dickens stayed here. I don't know whether anyone's read David Copfield. I'm reading David Copfield at the moment on my ebook reader. But David Copfield came to stay with Steerforth in Highgate. So maybe this is where Charles Dickens got the got the ideas for it. But I believe he stayed here when he was older. What would he stay with? He stayed here in 1832, probably not for very long. So uh, yeah, oh, that's exciting, isn't it? And now I'm here. It's almost as if I am Charles Dickens, apart from the beard. So who lives here then, Paul? John Betjeman used to live here at least. He doesn't what? live here anymore. Because he's Betjeman's dead. Four by four, which he drives. Possibly yeah, which well. he definitely drives. The ghost of John Betjeman. There's anyway. A board on the driving seat. So we don't want to go any closer than this because no, it's don't. got a, a private drive. Notice but the next John door Betjeman. is only halfway close to it. <laughs> the poet laureate lived That's here. Right. But that's not a lorry, that's a 4x4. Four four. Shut I up. This is the Highgate Literary and Scientific Institution. Because there's a lot of literary stuff and probably science, I don't know. Probably. This is Highgate Cemetery, which you're not allowed to film inside. But we're not inside, we're outside. Now, in the 70s, possibly the 80s, there was a whole load of stories about a vampire. Now, I don't know the details. I have seen on YouTube somebody that reckons they've seen it. And there was some sort of shadowy figure that's through the graves, scares people, makes them terrified. Terrified, can you hear it? Can you see the vampire in the background? Eating your soul. It's a bell. Probably can't hear the bell. Poor lady's just signalling to me saying, you can hear a bell, I can't hear a bell. Anyway, so the vampire dug, digs up all the graves and eats your soul and then probably goes home for tea. That's probably what vampires do. And then he has a nice uh, big blood sausage when he gets home. So that's all I know about the Highgate vampire. I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Sounds like they're burying plague victims in there though. The bells. That's probably just a signal that they're closing up for the night though. This is Highgate Cemetery where rubbish goes to die, apparently. There's just a lot of junk. There's this poem by Percy Bysshe Shelley that's all about a big giant statue, just the feet and the top of the head in the desert. And it says on, on a little inscription, look upon these mighty works and tremble. And there's nothing there. It's all gone. It's just a couple of toes and a nose. That's, that's all it comes to. You can do all these great stuff things, all these amazing things, and in the end, it's all gonna be pointless, completely pointless. It's all going to rot. Cheer up.